I haven't done anything yet. I gotta go do the hummingbirds. What we did is Gary hooked up a modem. Do you want to show your modem? I guess it doesn't matter. And matter. this way I can when I'm prepared. Oh, you got a signal. I must be live. When we can, when I'm more prepared, I can come out here and just have coffee in the morning with you guys and go live. Can you lower the sound on that? And go, there's nobody here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, well, we got 11 people. <laughs> okay, this is, no joke, really strictly a test. And what I want from you guys is tell me how the feed is. Okay, we do not want to trip on bricks. Okay, I want to know if it's choppy. I know it's going to be bumpy because I don't have my wand or stick or whatever holding my camera. I'm literally holding my phone myself. We hooked up, okay, we, we, he did. He hooked up a modem. See, there's a modem up there. Hello, Ben Dingo. See the little modem? So we've got an outdoor modem, and as long as my phone doesn't go to another one trying in the neighborhood, um, I'm trying to figure out, I can always shut the other ones off. I want to know from you, what do you think? Is it jumpy? Is it fuzzy? Is it clear? And I don't, there we go. We can visit, can we visit your place? Maybe one day. Right now. Tell me how the picture is. I know it's going to be a little shaky because I'm just holding my camera by hand. But what I'm trying to find out is the last time I went live in Gary's garden, I went back and looked at it. I really should take it down. It's that bad. Um, I'm trying to find out how the picture looks. And if anybody has the capability. Yeah, I know if you're watching on a TV, you can't say anything. If you're watching on certain platforms, you can't put in anything. He looks normal. Oh, Debbie Keller. Thank That's what I'm trying to find out because last time I did did something, I went back and it was like, oh, it was so fuzzy. Fuzzy, fuzzy. Look at his totes. I just did a video, I think, on totes. I have to look at it and see if I made any sense. It's great. Dearla, is that how you say it? Dearla Lee? Oh, cool. Because then it's blurry. Oh, jeez. See, I, I'm not going to do this if it's blurry. It's fuzzy. I can't fix that. Okay, that's what I need to find out. So it might have jumped to another modem in the house. It's fuzzy, Gary. Well, my um, picture quality is only at 144p. I have this set at 1080, so if they set it at 1080, they may be able to see it. I can't set my phone. Okay, um, now I'm in the sun, so... See, I can't read anybody's... i got to get out of the sun. I'm hoping this works. Picture is cool. This is Romney, me, my wife wants to visit. <laughs> um, our cell seller looks and looks and sounds great. A little fuzzy. There's nothing in the front of my lens. No, my lens is good. Why would it be fuzzy? Now I got to well, think about I, this. Well, the picture quality I'm getting is that. I can't. You know what the problem is? 144p. How'd you get 144? You should be getting 1080 yeah, on your phone. Well, that's... So they may have to reset it. Well, I can't reset mine. Okay, JC says, I think it's fine. Um, maybe I swept too fast. That could be, that could be. I may have to walk slower, talk slower. Lucinda, I hope I got that right. 98 says it looks good. Your camera isn't focusing correctly. Well, it's, the problem is it's not just the camera, it's a cell phone. And I'm outside. And if it tries to jump to another modem in the house, then it will get poor quality. I'll have to go back and look at this myself. I'll take a shot of mine. I can't see yours. Oh. In, the, no, the, no, the issue mean, is that the screen is dark. Well, 144p, it should not be that low. It's too low? I didn't set well, it. Well, I'm picking it up at that level. So your phone is picking it up at that level. So your, it looks really clear on your phone, but on mine as it comes, as, it, as I'm uploading it from YouTube. <laughs> Our seller is going to take it. As, we're just testing this right now. I've got to go fill hummingbird feeders and do stuff. Okay, go ahead you, and say something. The issue I'm having is the upload from YouTube because I can see your camera is clear. Yeah, my camera looks great, and, and what I'm looking and at. And mine is low quality. 
So it's, um, let's see, the picture quality here is only one, see it, the one forty-four p. So if you go into your the settings, settings. Okay, that's that is one thing. So okay, so we've got one thing settled. If it is the way they have it set up, I'll walk through here. I can't control that. What I'm trying to control is last time we did your garden, it was choppy. It literally, no matter what setting I did on, because we were pulling from the house. Yeah. I can't, it's not my lens. Here, I'll try it. It's not my lens. Sorry, right, guys. See, it's not my lens. My lens is good. It's maybe jumping from that modem up there to a modem in the house, and then I'll get a really bad picture. So the only other way for me to do it, I'm gonna sit down and look at this and try to analyze this in the shade. The only other way, now it's blurry. Oh. Okay, I know what it's doing. I can't fix it while I'm on. It's jumping from the modem in the house. So it's pulling a really poor signal. I, I have to shut the modems off in the house or shut it off in the phone. I okay, our to... seller said it's clear now. That's better. I'm not moving. Oh, now it jumped back to that modem, say. It's... So as I drift around the yard, it's probably going, keep still. Okay, Girl, it's it is dark. clearing up. It says, don't move. Do you know how hard it is for me to keep still? No, um, next time I want to come down here in your garden, what I have to do is go into my settings, and when it finds the modems that are in the house that's up there, say ignore it. And then it will only go by the modem you've got in the yard. I wonder if you can move it somewhere it's, else. It's what? Mine's connected to the same modem. I think it initially YouTube was uploading it at a low quality. Oh my, what is this? I didn't even see this. How beautiful, what is this? That's the... I sure see a lot of spikes on this. You wouldn't want to get... Yeah, that's the lychee tomato. It's got a tiny... It's still a little blurry. Yeah, I can't fix that. That's what I can... See, I can bring my camera down here and not go live and you'll get it great, but I'm trying to figure out how to get it great and go live. Here is the thing. I have very little cell site here. A cell site. Uh, yeah, cell site for my, for my phone alone. It does look great, doesn't it? That was uh, Joanna. The, it, I, I don't have a cell site, so I can't even go to a cell site. When it goes to the cell site, then it's really bad. It will drop. So I need to shut off the other modems in my phone so it won't try to look for it. And maybe if you... How long is that cord you set up there? Three feet. That's all it is is three feet. Maybe four feet. Yeah, and you're also dealing with the 200 foot cord, which should not matter because I've done that before. I think about this. At least I got, we got it set up. You have to think about it. Listen to the birds. Isn't that pretty? It's quiet. There's no leaf blowers. I hear a plane. Your garden is so great. You know, I think I'm done gardening. Why should I bother gardening when you come down here, you build this whole thing and you don't even do any work? Look at that. I never see you down here working. Do you ever work down here? Uh, when I feel like it, I guess. I know. No, I know. Sometimes I don't know where you are and you're here. Look at the tree collards. Everybody should grow tree collards, even if it's just to compost those leaves. Boy, they make good potting soil. Garden soil, compost, whatever you want to say. It's hard to believe there's a... There's a kiddie pool under here. I've had people ask me, this, do you grow in kiddie pools? I don't, but Gary does. Where's your, do you have kiddie pools you're actually growing in with soil? No. He does work, Debbie, he does. I'm teasing him, he knows that. I've I think got, he knows that. I've got one set up with pure wood Gary's an wood easy chips. gardener. Oh, I one hear the Cooper Hawks. got pure um, composted wood chips. See you do. I'm gonna go back and see if I miss. I know I missed tons of pe people. Uh, is that Elena from Michigan? Am I pronouncing that right? 
You bought it. How much did you pay for it at Walmart? I saw that Lowe's might have Lowe's. I think Lowe's has got one online for like five dollars, but you have to order it and have it shipped to the store. Yes, Michelle, you caught us live. Go ahead and ask a question. I'm literally sitting here just testing his modem he just hooked up, and I'm trying to hold my camera still, and it's not that easy. Um, I know, isn't that amazing in his garden? He doesn't even do anything. <laughs> That's because of the roof here. He's got sunshade, sunshade all the time. So he's got the perfect climate down here. Um, okay, I'm waiting for our seller. I know I'm, I'm going to butcher everybody's name, just so you know that. That's probably why I didn't like my name when I was a kid. Uh, let's see. Debbie's. Joanna? I think it's not even Joanna. It's Jonna. Is it Jonna? J O H N N A. How would you pronounce that? to me to deal with names. Judith. Yeah, as long as I don't move my camera. Rach, Ra Raquel. You told me earlier it was blurry. I'm trying to make sure I say everybody's name. JC. Jonna, JC. Rami. I think you're from Glendale. And you'll have more hummingbirds soon, too. I'm finding their nests. Sherry. Okay. Lucinda, I think I got you earlier. Lamb Shepherd. I can't see any detail. This is why I said this is strictly a test. Okay, I think I got everybody from the beginning. Debbie and Dingo. Let's go back. Let's go to the bottom. Okay, so what did I miss? You paid six ninety eight. Okay, that's what I saw online. Now they would have only given me ten percent offer. Cracked and damaged. So I passed it. Oh, I wouldn't buy cracked or damaged. Then you're already starting with an issue. I only because it might split. Even though you can stop it with a little bit of masking tape and duct tape. There's other ways of fixing it too. I'm hoping to get to that video if I can put it together. No, for ten percent off. No, but keep an eye on thrift stores and keep an eye if I see any sales. I'll let you know. I'm going to check more online because I did see one pop up for like $5 and I think it was Lowe's. And what you do is you order it online, you have it shipped to your store, and then you pick it up. See, dang, H-I? Yeah, I'm testing this camera. It was weird after you wiped your lens that the picture was so focused and it jumped back to blurry. How about now? <laughs> no, the lens is good. I'm checking it. The lens is good, but sometimes when you do stuff like that, it resets the camera, good or bad. Not be good. Okay, somebody, William. Oh, thank you. Gary's here too. See? I told him I wasn't even going live. I wasn't supposed to go live. He just plugged in his new modem. He ran a wire for the modem and he brought it down here. You're on, you're on live. He brought it down here. And I said, well, let, let me come down with my camera because I just had coffee in the garden and I need to go up and do the hummingbirds. And of course, he knows that I turn on the camera and go live. And I'm just trying to figure out how to get this right. I want it right. I want to be able to come down here, sit down like, like I'm doing now, and have coffee or water. Hmm. Question is up about five people. Okay, let me go look for it. Michelle and Tim. Yeah, you, you, I'm on a screen. And then you got to roll, and then I've taken people off accidentally before, too. I'll get back to Susan in a minute if I don't forget. Let's see. I caught you live. I see that. I have a question. I don't see the question, though. Is that weird that I don't see the qu Oh, wait a minute. No question that is up about five people. Okay, maybe I have to keep going up. You may have to retype it. Michelle, I caught you live. Keep going. Okay, Michelle, I don't, Gary? Yes. Stop working, come over here and get through questions. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Michelle said she asked the question, but I can't find it. Okay, I saw another question though. How do you use the compost that you make alone or how do you use the compost that you make alone or mix it with other potting soil? 
up against the wall right now. I'm using it just alone. I'm, I, I, if you, you saw the video, the new wall, that it's not a new wall. I just pulled everything away and I'm going to go up, down, up, down. I'm loading the bottom with trees and branches and leaves. This keeps the old totes or anything draining really well. And then I'm putting in the compost back on the top. You can put a little potting soil if you want on the top, but if it looks good, I'm just going for it. There's stuff growing. I'm moving things and old seeds from last year are growing. And if it's growing, then it's probably good. From Southern Caribbean. Wow, Nicole. Hello, Z-E. Let's see. I have sprouted seeds. Cucumbers. Okay. It's in my kitchen already. Oh, to go to a larger pot. Okay, that's good. Outside. Any suggestions? Oh, you're in Pasadena. You're going to get really close to putting that stuff out because I'm not going to jump the gun and I didn't want to start too many seeds early because if you get leggy seeds a lot of the leggy seedlings do not come back but I think with the way our weather's holding you can probably start to get some of them outside you could put them first in a bigger pot and then start getting them outside and if you want take a water jug or a gallon milk jug cut the bottom off put it on top of your plant because what you don't want is the roly polies to eat it and I have a zinnia plant in the bird garden and it was dropping its own seeds and I was so excited. I saw some little seedlings coming up, then they were gone, then they were there, then they were gone. You got the idea. My granddaughter was doing some schoolwork and she was watching. She was sitting there where I sit and have coffee and she said, did you know the birds are going in there and eating everything growing in that pot? So I put a cover over it, just a wire basket from the 99 cent store and I have five zinnias now growing in there. So birds will eat the seedlings too. Once it gets their regular, normal see, um, leaves, they don't tend to eat a lot of those, but they will eat them when they have the two first leaves. They must taste good, like microgreens. Let's see, oh, I'm still looking for your, no, 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 no. If I accidentally knocked anybody off, let me know. Oh my gosh. What are you looking for? Michelle said she had a question. How, oh, sift? Just quit some, I, I bought a sifter at Daiso. It's like a dollar store. We have them here in Southern California. It's quarter inch wire. You can actually, I have not done a video on this, but you could take a cardboard box, cut the center out from the bottom, tape in, put in the, the quarter inch wire if you can get some, and you can sift it that way. The other thing you can do is get a colander, like a spaghetti colander. I think you can get them from the 99 cent store. Make big holes and you can sift it that way. Or you can get a, go to the 99 cent store, get a shoe box. There's a good video. Take your soldering iron and make a whole bunch of holes in it. And you made your own sifter. And don't forget, don't throw anything out from the, what you sifted, the big pieces. You keep that. That will just continue to break down. So you can make a sifter. I'm looking for Michelle. She said she asked a question. Janice, just tuning in for the first time. We're not even supposed to be live. We're not here. Yeah, we're not here. Uh, she's okay. We, she's in Pasadena. She should be able to get him. I just put my zucchini out. It looks beautiful. Um, I think I talked about that. Michelle says her question is about five people up, and I still can't find it. Uh, the only... I think her, I did not knock her question off. No, no she... Five people up. She said... I caught you live, have a question with question marks, and there wasn't anything following that. Look, 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 look. See the hummingbird feeding on your, is it the cannas there? What are they feeding yeah, on? Yeah, the cannas. Look at that. You know why? Because their feeders are probably empty or close to it. And there's nests all over the place now. Yeah, I need to get a stick. Is the hummingbird flying around? All right, before I sign off and get my stuff done, do you have anything important to say? Ooh, no, I don't. I'm down here, now that I'm down here, I'm pulling oh, a few weeds for compost. You would think with the thousands I have here, I wouldn't get excited every time I see one, and I do. Oh. Okay, let's see, Angela. Tree collared, um, you can probably find, where'd you get mine? The first one I got on eBay, and then once I got, I got them in a nursery. You have to buy them as cuttings to get the right tree collared. Matt, Matt, Lorena, Matt, Dorina. 
Hello. From London. Hello. Adela Long. I like your, oh, you like Harry's hair. Your, your, his little beanie. It's falling apart. Is that one falling apart? Yeah, this is my work hat. This so. is work hat. It's falling apart. I still don't see Michelle's question. Should, oh, wait a minute. I'm in Oklahoma. Should I put something out for the hummingbirds? There's your question. I do for the birds, I guess she's saying. Because her wonderful phone did it. looks like a spell check. And, I'm, and then they come up with words we don't even know. If you see them, I, it might, Oklahoma, you might be a little early, but if you see them, put it out or put one out with just a little bit of food and see if they come. Hello, Susan from Texas. If I miss somebody, then they get really mad. Uh, Adela is from London. We've got a few from London. Kenzie? You need to fill your feeders too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go because they're up there beyond the orange trees. And this was not planned. Do look on eBay and see if they've got tree, the tree collards. And you can get them in green. My daughter does not like the taste of the green. We use the green. In fact, I gotta make some coleslaw out of them. Um, I use them for a green drink. The purple ones, everybody loves the taste of the purple ones better, but these make great compost. I grab leaves off, so does Gary, and throws them in totes. You have snow. Obviously, the hummingbirds probably won't be there yet, Rachel, Raquel. I don't think so, but there goes my voice. My voice. I want my voice back. Judith from North Carolina. Oceanbound from Arizona. Raquel is from Utah. I don't know if they'd be there yet. I, I would think next month. We don't even have the Orioles here yet. We're still not in spring yet, and they won't come until March 9th. Should be the first one. Michelle and Tim, yes. Okay, good, so I found your question. I think that's it. I might try to walk around a little bit. Ours is, on, it, it, ours is ice. No, you're not gonna have hummingbirds yet. Frida Jacobs, no hummingbirds here. You will, you will. Give it, like I said, even the Orioles haven't come here yet. They show up, I have, I looked it up. They show up here March 9th, so they're not here yet. Renee from Alabama, love you guys. Thank you so much. Instead of you being so rudely working, you should be talking to people. <laughs> so what do you have to say, Carrie? All eyes are on you because they're most certainly not going to be on me <laughs> right now. Well, since, since I'm down here, I'm going to collect some plants for the compost. And they were not mic, so they cannot hear you. I need water. <clears throat> Jeez, I keep losing my voice. I have to carry water with me everywhere. Let me let's see what he's doing, and hopefully I won't lose the picture, and then I can go back and look at this and analyze. So you are, we're going to do a tour when we're more situated and ready. That, oh, I think Elaine, let's see her, Elaine, E-L-A, Alana, E-L-A-N-A. So we're going to do a tour when we're This was completely not planned. Just came down. See what he did? I'll show you what he did. He's got a modem. Now, I got to figure out if the modem should be somewhere else. But there's also a modem up there. And to be honest, there's a modem up there. So if it tries to pull... Oh, look at it. I didn't notice my apricot tree that's so old that almost died is coming back. If it tries to pull from the other modems, then I'm gonna end up with a really blurry, fuzzy, choppy picture. And I wanna make sure it doesn't. Do you have fruit? What kind of fruit? What kind of fruit? Oh, they're zipping through now. Uh, there's an apricot tree up there. It almost died and it came back. So we'll see what happens. It's green now. Okay, uh, I, you know, now I've got the sun on here. Sal, S-A-L-Y-E-R-R. -R. She, she likes the, your, the cement thing you made. Okay, I'm not going to be able to read anything right now because I'm in the sun. Well, there's a, another one. Oh, are you making this? Yeah, I make color blocks. Wait a minute, you're doing this now? When I have a moment, I just make up a bag. See, this one I made up a while ago, but these are the color blocks because I've got my kiddie pools 
in here I've got black plastic sheeting over to protect them and to protect the edges like here I can stand on the edge and I won't damage the kiddie pool. I just put some concrete in a shopping bag. This is a Walmart shopping bag. And it's just a matter of filling them off. I left this one a little too long so it's sticking. But if you peel them the next day or the day after once it's set, they come off pretty clean. I made some water fountains that way. I found out you got to get them out before they're completely set, and then they just come right out of the cement. You can take a blowtorch. I've done that before. Okay, I saw questions, but the problem is the sun right now is behind me, so I can't then, read my screen. And then that just sits back like that and locks in. I didn't even know you were still working on cement down here. Well, yeah, if, I've, if I'm mixing cement somewhere and I've got any extra, oh. I just, instead of wasting it, I put it in a bag and I continue around my ponds. Hey, next time you're mixing cement and you have extra, let me know. I want to make another bowl. I've got my mold now. <clears throat> Don't, there goes my voice. Um, and I want to make another bowl. I want to put him in the, the bathtub or over in that area. Okay. We had six deer this morning at six o'clock in the morning and they did not eat my garden. But they're so big. Okay, now somebody asked the question, if I could find shade behind me, which I cannot, which means I gotta walk over there. I can't read the screen because it's just the sun is beating on it. <clears throat> this again, this was not planned. This was strictly to test his modem. Otherwise I would have mic'd him and mic'd me. And then you would have been able to hear all of us and look at all the bees. You still have mustard. I see you have a leek. What is this thing? That looks like a house plant. It's taro. Oh, that's taro. Small taro. Small taro. Where's your water chestnuts? Because you just bought a whole bunch more, didn't you? No, I, I, I didn't buy any more water chestnuts, but I've got plenty of them here. Okay, so what did you just buy? Some gak fruit. Gak fruit. Oh, I can't that. keep monster that's taking over the center. Why would you want more? That's what I don't Because it gives shade and it produces a good fruit. But that shades that back half and that's why some of the plants, my squash behind there, are still growing. Okay. Because they've got the shade from that. So it's created a microclimate. Okay, I'm gonna get in the shade and read some. What are you doing? Don't do this with all the bees. And these are fine. Yeah, they'll leave you and sting me. These are my stuff. water chestnuts. I have a big thing I gotta go compost. Our refrigerator died. It died and it got stuck on defrost, which is not a good thing. Everything's getting composted. I'm gonna go back and read some of these before I get off. Oh, there they are. We've eaten some of those. Yep. So they've died back for the winter is what They've it is. died back for the winter and they survived the winter in our, you know, I wasn't sure if they were going okay, so to what is that again? Out. A water chestnut. Cool. I'm going to move away because you've got a hundred bees there that are want to be left alone. Let me go look at the questions so I can go run and do the hummingbirds that are buzzing around and screaming. And I need shade, complete shade so I can read the screen. Let me see if I can still come back over here in the shade. See, he's got a chair for me. I love these flowers. Boy, do they have thorns. All right, so let me look at your questions and then I'm going to... Yeah, he he, he likes planting a lot of unusual stuff. You no, know, it's is coming good. in a lot clearer now. Oh, you're, it is coming in clearer? Yep. Well, see, I walked over there, which means my phone made sure it got to that because I was so close, but I can't carry that thing around. Mario. Okay, most sellers are on eBay, so I'm assuming you're answering somebody else, which is great. I bought a lot on eBay. I used to sell a lot on eBay. And I'm trying to see if I can put something up this spring. Let's see. 
that sell seeds. Okay, I don't know what seeds you're asking, but it better not be tree colored or walking onions. You don't want to get those in seeds because they won't grow, they may not grow true. 90% chance they won't grow true. Oh, you're talking about water chestnuts that you can get on. You got your water chestnuts on eBay? On eBay, yeah. Okay, Gary's water chestnuts came from eBay. Michelle I bought 10 solar kits because of me. Okay, the quality <laughs> went up to 480p now. On your phone on its own? Let's yeah. Let's figure this out. Let's see, Mara, your husband is an expert. Your husband's an expert. Are you an expert? Yeah. I must be an expert <laughs> on something. <laughs> okay, let's see. There's my water, there's my water if I need it. My granny's garden. Hello, everyone in chat. Oh, look at the hummingbird. You know when they do that is when their feeder is low. See? Where is he? He's spinning up. You know the flower there. Right in the middle. They're spoiled. They don't want to feed on that many flowers. They want their food. Uh, where can I buy some gak fruit? Okay, I think we are. Did you talk about gak fruit? You bought that on yeah. eBay, too. Oh, they had a really good price, too. Yeah, is that should, the one you just got? Yeah, we should post that. I'll somewhere. post that. Gary just bought gak fruit. He, we looked all over. And I'll tell you something that's really weird about eBay. They hide a lot of ads. They hid mine once. I called them screaming. No, I didn't. I wasn't screaming. I did call them. And I said, why are you hiding my ads? And they explained to me, which was interesting, there were too many, so they rotate through. That was interesting. Too many. So you have to really figure out how to get through them so you can go through a lot of the ads. I'll post that. In fact, I'll post that under this. And yes, we are married. Are we? Yep, of course yes. we're married. Yes, we're married. And you're legal. Yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm a U.S. citizen. He's a U.S. citizen. He was going to go to Canada. You don't want to hear the whole story. Um, Brush and apron took away the thing. Maggie May, hello. Your backyard or front yard is like a jungle. This is the um, back. Oh, they're all over. They're angry. I'm going, going to have to go. They're like literally, they're up on top there, the hummingbirds, which that one is looking for spider webs. I don't know if you can yeah. see that up Angela there. Angela Franklin, red sorrel, um, is sold as an ornamental plant often, and you will find it at a nursery. I'm not sure if you, you should be able to find it on eBay. I don't know. Okay, boy, the hummingbirds are angry. So you either take over and I leave or we get off. Um, Christopher, P-E-N-E, P-E-N, hello. But this is our back. And in fact, it's a hillside. And it dropped down. And this was, well, what was here was this. I don't know what they were going to build. That's That was already here, here but... The ground was like cement. It was just sand, uh, clay. It was just clay, and nobody could grow anything. So Gary changed that. Nicole, I think I said hello earlier. If I didn't, hello, Nicole Wildman. I'm trying to, I really don't want to miss anybody because somebody got mad last time. My husband's in it. I think I got everybody. Maggie, Mario, Christopher, Nicole. Blowtorch. It, you know, blowtorch really does work. If you want to get rid of plastic on cement, uh, what are the foot? Z, you want to know what are the footsteps next to the wall? Oh, that? My staircase? I, I don't know. What are the footsteps? It's a staircase. Yeah, I, I built the staircase. You remember when you walk away, they can't hear you because we're not mic'd. He built the staircase out of scrap stuff you got. Yep. And so it goes up, and then it goes along the wall. And then there's my garden. That's the bird garden up there. And that's a little shed. He also built that little shed. And then that's where the bee, you can't see him right now, but the hummingbird. Oh, what is this? A monarch? No, it's too small for a monarch. I don't think that's a monarch. I think it's a viceroy. Oh, look, look, look. Look, look, look. I think monarchs are bigger, but it might have been. Monarchs are usually bigger, and then we have viceroys that look like monarchs, but they're a little smaller. Okay, so what I was saying, without tripping, um, and Gary built the stairway there. You can, you'll have to shout if you have anything to say. And the stairway, 
You felt that so I can go up and down, you said once, right? Also because yeah, he's years, laughing. Years oh. and years ago. It was years ago. We, to get down here, we had to walk all the way down the up far end of our property and all the way back because we couldn't get down the retaining wall very easily. So this is a massive retaining wall. So we didn't build a retaining wall. To create a shortcut, I built this staircase. I didn't have any filming of it or any no, idea No, you about never that filmed it. Then. But I got some of these metal pieces I, from a construction site and I bought the lumber from, the, from Lowe's or Home Depot and I put it together. So the frame itself is from reclaimed metal and the steps I had to buy. I poured a concrete slab at the base to support it and this is the shortcut. It only takes a few minutes to get down here. Yes, yeah, so you can walk down from my garden. Nick Betteroff walked down here when he did a show a few years ago before the lockdown. Wow. But now you can come down along. He built the all there's stairs all the way. So he built stairs and here is just a dirt path. The chain link wasn't there either. There was no chain link. It was just a wall. A sheer drop. It was literally a drop. So he put the chain link in. Oh, we were running around getting chain link from anybody that had it cheap. Boy, we drove a lot of different places. My daughter was looking on Craigslist and everything. And he put all this chain link here. And then he built the stairs over there out of, um, I think there's cement blocks. See, he's up there. So this, uh-oh, I hope I don't knock anybody off. So this way he can come straight down. Like I said, my garden is there. You got the bird garden there. And you got the hummingbirds in that window, but you can't see them behind the orange trees. Boy, are those orange trees taking off. And there he comes. And then he put the chain link, because I told him, actually, that is crazy. If you fall, you know, so he put all the chain link here. Okay, I do have to go do hummingbirds because they have babies and nests everywhere. Everywhere. He loves when construction sites are throwing stuff away. I'm going to see if there's any other questions. We're not going to go out there. We're going to actually go live as soon as I know this is all done right so you can see his tower that he's building. No, what do you call this? Tunnel. Tunnel. And then I got to go back in. Go do all the hummingbirds like two dozen feeders. It's fuzzy again. Oh, it's fuzzy again. Okay, or animals, yes. Fuzzy on your found, probably meant phone, but your iPhone or your phone thought they would correct it to a better spelling. Fuzzy on YouTube. It's fuzzy on YouTube. All right, well, we'll have to figure this out. I think what I have to do is make sure I shut off any other modems or routers and then they so they can't find it and stick with that one or get a better one you know how old that is i'm gonna be honest that is an old d-link and it's old <laughs> but it was never used so i figured i'd try it so many fruit food yes i want to come i want to come stay in your backyard gary sometimes comes out here late at night i've seen him sit out here close to midnight and he would sit here with his frog. I wonder if you'll do that again this year if you get a frog. He's not listening to me. It's probably no. better he doesn't. I'm just looking. Zooming it zooming in clears it up a bit. I mean like when I go like this or like this? I don't know. How bad is it? I'm now? still getting it at 720. 720 is good. Yeah, it's better than what it was earlier on. You know, if you were on a TV, you can adjust it yourself. Now, I know I'm shaking the camera because it's hard to hold it up for so long. Bobby in Missouri, hello. Rosa, hello. Let's see. Mar Marina, uh, M E R I A N, Fernandez. Where did you buy your Ubej? 
What did you found them at a store once? I can't remember where you bought it. Um, your base. Got, got some from Florida. Florida. You got some from Florida. But that was a while ago. Let's see. Okay. Zooming in clears it up a bit. Uh, I've got Mario. Mario. Michelle. We can see, yeah, he's, I'm sitting there. That is the dragon fruit behind me. Isn't that amazing? Is this the cuttings that came off of my yard? Yeah, that's from your yard. And these are the ones. These are the pieces that were growing all over my garden. I yeah. said, get them out. They, these produce the white fruit. The ones I got from Home Depot are oh, yeah, start, planted, starting yeah. to sprout out the sides. And they produce and Debbie, my new fruit. best friend. What? These are the ones from Home Depot. I haven't planted yet. They produce the red fruit. Okay, so you've got so you have to plant those. So these are the bits and pieces that came out of my yard. All of them? Yes, all of them. Wow. They'll be flowering in the next few months. It's very hard to stand in. I love these flowers. I don't want to touch them. Look at that. But the thorns. Yeah, that's that's gonna keep Critters away from the fruit. Jeez. But I like the way the dragon fruit are climbing the straight pipes. I know, that's amazing. Their roots. Look at their roots. They've root. got their aerial roots around it and they've gone straight up. Look at that. That's just their roots holding on. Gardening is the cheapest therapy. No kidding. And I'm telling you, Potting soil, a lot of stuff is sticker shock. I even went to the grocery store and I saw some of the stuff. I haven't been to the grocery store in two years. I'm starting to go to the grocery store now. Might as well go shopping. I already had COVID and I'm over it. Put a mask on and go in the store. They still want you to wear, wear a mask and that's fine. I couldn't believe some of the prices. I really couldn't believe some of the prices of stuff. A little tiny head of lettuce was $1.45. Then they put it on sale. I saw for 85 cents and they were so little. Who's gonna buy iceberg lettuce though? I mean, it tastes good. I do like it, but geez. But the potting soil this year, going from $5 last year for the smaller bags to $15. Really have to shop around if you want to get potting soil. Everybody should start making their own. If you saw yesterday, there's my deck garden. If, ouch. This thing got stuck to me. I'm going to try to get around this without getting stuck. The deck garden, no joke. I had a a flower pot that was in those two pots I made and I threw a bunch of leaves and stems in there just like a month ago and they already broke down. You can easily make so much. Even if you're going to buy potting soil, you buy a little bit and then you make your own and it's so easy. Just stuff from the ground. Weeds from the ground. These are perfectly fine to use. I wouldn't use Bermuda grass. They call it also devil's grass. That's because if you still have the roots, they'll, they can get into your tote, flower pot, ground, and strangle plants. But you could do it. Just dry it out really, really good. Make sure it's dead. Soak it, rot it, and then use it. But this stuff, this is no, this isn't invasive at all. Say when this, you, well, this plant, it's in your way, right? No, it's fine. Just, it just right. got stuck to me when I walked Not, by. Yeah, well, it won't anymore. Isn't that sweet? Just make a hook. Look at that. Can I make a hook? A little so, bit of electrical wire around my rebar stakes. Oh, you can actually hook it where you can unhook it if you wanted to. Yep. I know the Dollar Tree has raised their prices to $1.25, which is understandable, but you know, it was bound to happen. Even the 99 cent store, I had a 99 cent store sticker shock on that. Most of the stuff was not 99 cents. Most of the stuff was far more. You really have to watch the prices on the stuff and ask. Don't be afraid to ask. So he made a hook so the plant won't bite me anymore. Oh, if that works, that'll work. Um, R, I'm gonna call you R. Um, she put down, he, she, put down cardboard to divert the Bermuda. Got it? Yeah, boy, that's kind of like St. Augustine, but boy, that stuff is even worse. It's so hard to get rid of the Bermuda if you get it inside something. Okay. We have stayed on 44 minutes when I told you I was coming on for five minutes to test the camera. So, I'm, I'm trying to find shade. Oh, your garden good. Sunny, okay, there we go. I need to read the screen. Um, 
Katie, can't wait for Michigan. Oh, for growing season. Are you, are you doing hummingbirds? Oh, you're not too proud to be these days. But growing keeps, oh, it does keep life amazing. Jamie, country living, LOL is laughing. People that get, that can garden are now blessed. You can garden anywhere. You can garden in a little tiny area too and you can grow so much food. Oh, oh, I don't even know. La you really need to help me with this. L A L La Last Venture? Last. La, La Last Venture, it's me. Am I saying that right? Am I reading it right? Lala's Venture. Lala's Venture, it's me. Best friend. We, we could be best friends. Cool. Thank you so much. I think. Um, I think I got Bob in Missouri. Is that Jonna? J-O-H-N-N-A? -N -N that would be Jonna, because I said Johanna before, but Jonna. You must be going up. I'm go trying to go up. Jonna. Robert from Copeland. Hello. Sandy Stroom. Okay, I read that already, but hello again. I know I miss Debbie. Oh, best friends. Linda is from Pomona, Pomona, California. You've got something there. We haven't even gone there yet. What's in Pomona, Gary? The Fairplex has a garden place. I think they might have a sale there. And the, 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 the college. The college, Pomona, yeah. That's something we Pomona haven't. Pomona State College has got a they have a plant sale. Plant. They have a plant sale. They have a nursery. They nursery. sell fruit. We've never gone there. We don't. I grow small peppers, but Gary just he just bought a bunch of pepper seeds, didn't you? He wants to grow more peppers. I grow a few different peppers, not a ton of them, but a few different. I've been kind of growing the peppers that already grew here, because then they grow more like a weed because they're used to the climate. I'm looking to see if I missed anybody because then I get the hate mail later. You missed me. I'm so upset. And then it gets me all upset and I don't want to be upset. Uh, I think I pretty much didn't miss anybody. And if I did, I'm really, really sorry. Sandy, oh, she was gonna say Pomona. Okay, Pomona College. Pomona College happens to be in Claremont. Okay, Claremont. Kohler goes there, right? John Kohler? Yeah. Well, he's posted Claremont. before he goes there. Okay, so that's... Sandy's in Oklahoma and it's cold. I'm gonna call. <laughs> oh, good, so R had a bump, R seller had a bumper crop and took seeds. Per I took seeds too, you should see some of my seeds. Some of them are just thrown in a big bowl and I have no idea what they are and I hate doing that and I did, I'm gonna, did it again. All right. Say your last words. Okay, Johnny, Maz Ma oh. Johnny Maserati, how do you reach the middle of that bed right there? I'm not sure which one he's talking about. I didn't about. even see Johnny come up. How now, did you well, I must have scrolled back up, but I just reach out. It's not that far if this is the bed he's talking about. Who I didn't say hello to is Malachi. Malachi? Malachi 7. Yeah, hello, hello. He, yeah, he can reach. It's just a kiddie pool, so he can reach across. Yeah, I don't so know how you found is... Johnny, because I don't see Johnny on my phone. Oh, there's Johnny. I'm going to say that's... We don't forget Johnny. Five feet in. If that's five feet in, that's roughly the width of the beds that I built. I don't build them any further than I can reach. So if I need to reach something in here, I can reach that far in. And he thanked you for that. And then we've got Carol. K A R O L E G from Berkeley. K from Berkeley. And Bob, <coughs> oh geez, Bob from Missouri. You need some soil. Start making your own. Even if the weather's not good. Yeah, believe it or not, a foot under my feet is pretty much bedrock. So this area was graded down to bedrock before whoever built this structure built this structure. So they graded it down to bedrock 
and this is shale underneath. So you, the only thing that grew in here before they started bringing in wood chips and some clay soil was um, weeds. Like the tumbleweeds wouldn't even grow here. That's how hard it was. I know, it's just bare. I've got pictures of that when the kids used to come down here for birthday parties. It was just nothing. Linda's growing in containers. Yeah. So you can build your soil up over time. If you go back to old videos, he used to swear he would never, never grow in a tote. Oh, you're growing totes? I'm never going to grow in totes. Why would you want to grow in totes? I'm going to do everything in the ground. Look at this. Look at this. This is nothing. He, I really do think he's got more totes than me. They're all through here. They're even down there. He would never grow in totes. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> Are those tubers? I don't know exactly. It's say my eggplant on toast or by winter. I, they will. Eggplant will go two and three years. I've had that. I think I've got a couple that are at the end of life, but they will go two and three years. Okay, Debbie says time for lunch. Take care. of it's, it's probably time for lunch. I haven't even really had breakfast, but I've got to go do the hummingbirds first. CE is in Selma, California. Hello, Selma. Selma. I'm sorry. Hello, Selma. <laughs> In Fresno. Oh, he's just, I'm trying to read this with the sun, so bear with me. Let's see. Anyways, I would definitely try to make your own soil, even if you're not gardening yet. Some of you are in an area. Gray, hello. No, I've been watching three years. Wow, thank you. Um, I think that's all we've been on, really, seriously. Susan... Never say never. Yeah, I know. I know, that's true. Oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying, Gary? I, I'm zucchinis, don't waste your time. They, I've got some that are doing it and they're getting these little zucchinis. And the thing is, it's really not right. It's much better to start fresh on zucchini. I wouldn't waste my time anymore on that, even though I have left them. And it's like, oh, I'm getting such a cute little fruit. It's really much better to just get zucchini going again. But eggplant is different so it will go a couple years tomatoes will go a couple years if they make it through the winter that's what i was saying if you are not ready to grow but you have an area you can throw leaves and just pile them i don't care if you can pile them in a toe pile them on the ground pile them in a bucket they will break down just pile just getting wet they have to be wet they're not going to break down if they're dry but they have to have some sort of dampness so you can just hit them with some water and that's it i'm back in the sun i can't read a thing rocket E-Man, Rocket Man. Uh, I wanted to say something. I use my local soil as top soil. Very good. That's B Gray. The internet has corrupted me. I hear eggplant, then I think something other than eggplant. Okay. You probably know what he's talking about, but I don't. What's this? The internet has corrupted me. I hear eggplant. Eggplant. Then think something other than eggplant. It must, it's, it's probably something else going on. Um, Janice Jenkins is just tuning in for the first time. Well, I hope to do a lot, lot of this. Like I said, the okra, do, okra will regrow? Mine didn't, mine died out. Uh, my, mine doesn't here. Okay, so some areas it might do. Uh, I should probably be asking a question. And Bob, Bob in Missouri, yeah, that's what we've got. Um, almost two acres, and that's what I do here. I find soil. Okay, thank you, Michelle. You know what, Michelle? Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. Um, I just threw your wrench. So if somebody's trolling, you can, you can take them off. I didn't know that that person was trolling. I think, go ahead, Gary, I'm sorry. Did I interrupt you? Yeah, Bob in Missouri. We have almost two acres, and some areas have got good soil, and some areas have got poor soil, and that's what I've done here. My raised beds, I brought this soil in from areas where the soil's a lot better, so that I've, I'm able to grow here by building raised beds and bringing in good soil, and then building it from there. Malachi always comes on a lot, right? Malachi is on. Always? A lot? A lot. Okay. 
Malachi's got a wrench now. I didn't know. I guess somebody was trolling through. So now they can remove the troll. <laughs> Malachi's going to work now. Hit the like button. <laughs> If you've got a wrench, what you could do is if somebody is trolling and saying things, I don't know what it is, and it's something bad, you can just remove what they said. Oh, I hear Kitty screaming. <laughs> He's up there somewhere. Well, you know, I didn't grow spinach this year. We didn't grow any, we grow uh, Malabar spinach. I don't really eat that much of it. Do you eat, you eat your Malabars? Yeah, yeah but still got yeah, she's up there drawing. somewhere. She's, I hear her barking. How funny. funny. Thank you, Malachi. So, let's see. Jujube. All the fancy wrenches. You know what? If somebody, if I threw the, a wrench to the wrong person, I can take the wrench back. <laughs> I think. Of course, I have to figure out how to do it. No, you can't take it back. All the fancy wrenches. Everybody's going to have a wrench. <laughs> oh, John. Average man. Oh, no, 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 don't leave. It fades out on me. Wish I could be a gardener right now. But there's three. Yes, but you could still collect leaves and stuff and start making your own soil. Even if you only put it towards the bottom or the middle, if it, if it doesn't break down that much. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't grow in rotting matter. Because when I, I've got, I've got to put a video together on all this stuff I have dumped in a tote with seeds and everything grows. I end up, there's been so many times not putting any soil in a tote because I loaded it up with kitchen scraps. I had squash growing, tomatoes growing. It was like, oh my goodness, there's no soil of any type in there. And it all grew. Of course, I had to thin it out. The worst part is leaving too much. And then if you leave too many plants, you'll end up with a bunch of little skimpy plants. And you're thinking, what'd you do wrong when you didn't do anything wrong? What happened was too much competition. Thin it out to the ones you want and you do great. Yes. Yeah. I haven't pointed this out to you, but this is my celery. Oh, you got celery inside. That's growing. You see, he likes millimore spinach. That's not growing in soil. It's growing in the duckweed. I dropped a piece in mine. It was just sitting there. I see, never, see yes. this is duck. Oh, cool. This is duckweed. So the celery that I had growing nearby, dropped its seed in the pond, landed in the duckweed, and it's set root. Cool, John. So now it's water celery. It, you know, that's really just, cool. I've got. It's growing aquaponically. So how much do you want? I have a tote that's got like a hundred celery, and I'm going to compost them. I really don't like composting such beautiful plants, but I'm going to. Okay, so our five minutes of testing, which I still don't know 100%. I'm going to go back and look at it myself. We'll see if we can, if I can just come out live all the time with his little modem that's there. See the modem? Greens for compost tea. Wait a minute, I think compost tea, that's up my... Anyone grow greens for compost tea? Can I put them freshly, greens in a bucket? Yes, 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 you haven't watched my videos yet. I love using collard leaves, but you, uh, tree collard leaves, you can use anything, put them in a bucket. Oh, well, here it is, <laughs> Gary's ready for you, he's ready. You know, I've gotta go do the hummingbirds. Oh, this looks terrible. I don't that let mine sit terrible. that long. Yeah, I know, but I haven't been down here that often recently. That's why the weeds are getting out of control. So, is there any mosquito larvae? No. There's no mosquito larvae. No. They don't like the muck. The thing is, that is, that's just pure fertilizer. I mean, think of rain and puddling and things rot. Oh, you've got sage. That must be, oh, that's the one I gave you. Yep. That was from the 99 cent store once. Oh my gosh. Three, four years ago, they had like a whole package and there was like 20 sage in a package and I planted them. They're still growing. Bye, bye Mario. I'm going to leave too in a second. So what I want a lot of you to do when you come on is if you see somebody ask the question. Thank you, Malachi. Um, if somebody asks the question, you know the answer. Go ahead and answer. I may come in and say if I see it. Oh, Johnny said it perfect. Or I may do it a little different than Johnny. I'm using Johnny as an example. Go ahead and feel free to answer people's questions because 
I literally come on and there's like a thousand sometimes, there could be a hundred. If there's, you know, I can sit down and do a hundred fairly quick, but if there's a ton of them, I, it takes me longer. I'm going back to some of them from two years ago. Yeah, you know, just kind of randomly. It's also the way YouTube throws them out. So feel free to answer other people's questions nicely. If you don't play nice, I'll send Malachi after you. But um, anyways, let's see. Can Gary do a video on how to grow celery and duckweed? <laughs> There you go, Gary. Can you do a video on that? Well, what I probably should do is go around and do a video on some of the weird things that have happened in my garden. I told you we're doing things. Things that showed up without, you know, me doing anything, and I, I didn't know this would happen. I told you. That's why I said this year I want to do things differently. I want to come out here and say, hey, I want to talk about totes. I want to talk about duckweed. I want to talk about, I don't know, bananas. I want to talk about the Orioles building a nest in your banana trees or what's going on in your buckets or why did you steal all my buckets from me and why are the bees, oh my goodness, you know why the bees are here? Because the water isn't moving. They're not really thrilled about moving water. They have to have a place where they can just climb and get their water and go back to their hive. And normally, probably about five years ago, I would have been running and screaming, but I have learned when they're working, they're really not interested in me. Okay, I am going to wrap this up. I'm going to grab some greens and make a green drink. Boy, this is really good. I, I love Swiss chard. I'm going to grab some greens. I'm going to go up and make a green drink. But first, I've got to go do all the hummingbirds. So, do you have anything else to say? Because we've been on for over an hour, and this was supposed to be five minutes. Oh, they're sneaking around. You are so welcome, Be Grace. This, this, is, this is really fun. And this really was a test. I still don't know if it's to the way I want it. I want to get it where it looks really good. And if it's not looking good, I've got to figure it out. Wait, I don't understand what that means. Let's see. What is your intake on a insect motel? motel. Oh, are you talking about motel? Yeah, see, that's, that's for... Um... Bees like leaf cutter what bees. What is that? What is that? This is a good year blimp. Oh my god, it scared me. I didn't know what was coming past the trees. Did not expect to see that. Oh my goodness. I know. Yes, is it, wait a minute. I, I missed the name. I'm not stepping out the gate or I, oh, yeah, oh well, because I, I can't, I've got to go do the hummingbirds. Yep. This is not a joke anymore. Ye vida. Yes, we were supposed to be on for five minutes. What did you want to show really quick? No, well, that's, that's what they were ta talking about. Something similar okay. to that. I know I missed a lot of you now, Nino. <laughs> and I am going to, I do have to do the hummingbirds. This is no joke because they are up there and they've been buzzing around and they need food because there's nests everywhere. So Gary, I'm gonna leave this for you to wrap up and say goodbye. Okay, goodbye. I'll, I'll get back to what I was doing and- And everybody have a have wonderful a day. And I'm gonna see if this feed was good and if it worked our modem. Oh, you got a snapshot. Uh, okay, so goodbye Priscilla. I know I didn't say Priscilla before. I know I've missed you, a lot of you now. And Carol, Jean? And Michelle, thank you. And Malachi, thank you. And I guess that's it. So I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to go do hummingbirds. Have a wonderful day. Wave goodbye, Gary. Bye.